Hi everyone, Big Mac here. Welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi Story for the Nintendo 64. Today we are going into stage 4-1, the Jungle Hut. Let's pick our favorite Yoshi and head on out. So the Jungle Hut is actually uh, quite unlike other levels that we have seen before. Instead of just going straight to the right, uh, this one actually has a larger open world for us to explore. With a lot of different paths that we can take. Hey, there's a super happy heart. Sweet! I don't think we've ever gotten a super happy heart this early before. Uh, if you've seen the Tula before, that'll actually allow you to shoot Yoshi in a certain direction, like this one. And we just found another super happy heart, oh my gosh! Well, we still gotta get that first one, it was somewhere around here, I think. Anyway, we have these guys, I don't know what they're called, I think they're called Spike, maybe? I don't know, but they're throwing those big, um, spiky balls, so that might be their name. Well, I'm actually not sure. But anyway, let's, uh, Yoshi can quickly eat them. Hopefully these, uh, spike balls will go, go away soon enough. And, well, watch out, Yoshi. Okay, let's try using another tulip, see who's in the corner. Yes, there was that first super happy heart that we saw earlier. We've already found two, three, what? The third one is right here? Oh my gosh, how do we get down to it? Well, in fact, we can take this pipe down here. Uh, that particular block that I was pushing just a little while ago, that's actually where the white shy guy is in this stage, if you need it. But first of all, grab the melon! Alright, Yoshi. So normally you would fall down, and then you would enter this, hu this uh, hut, or this house. Of course, what's inside this thing? Oh, there's shy guys! And... bees? Indeed, uh, there, these bees are a mechanic that you may have seen in a couple levels or not before. But... We're on the right side of them, so they're, they're not really bothering us right now. But, if we were to try and yeah, get back on the left and then cross over to the right, things start getting a little interesting. So, of course, we want to try and kill that guy that's uh, throwing the spikes at us, and the bees won't let us. So, indeed, what we have to do is we have to be very quiet and just make a very little noise as we start walking by these bees. Once we get past them, we can start running again, but you have to be going at a slow enough pace so that you don't uh, annoy the bees at all. If you get annoy the bees, they will start uh, freaking out, they will, you know, tell you, go back, go back. Do not, in retaliation, try and throw an egg at the bees. It does not end well for the Yoshi. Anyway, so we've actually collected all three super happy hearts already for this one level. I think that's the earliest we've ever done it. So in fact, uh, there are a number of six huts all together in the course of this stage. And, uh, as we saw the first stage, or the first hut had five uh, melons for us to collect. Every hut has five melons. Of course, we have to figure out how to get them all. So right now we have a bunch of blocks to uncover. Any of them have the... Oh, that one has a melon. That one on the far right will always have the melon. Of course, I just destroyed all the blocks. How am I supposed to get up? Uh, it took me a little while to get back up, but eventually, you know, I, I just cut a little bit of time. But if ultimately, I did manage, I was able to uh, propel myself back up. So, a couple things we're going to have to be paying attention to in this stage are the coins that are running around, roaming around in each particular hut. So, some huts have coins, some don't, but if you see a hut with coins, you want to try and grab every single coin. Uh, one, because it helps out your score a little bit, and then two, if you find every coin in a in a certain hut, that will actually reveal a melon for you. And you see, that one appeared only after we had collected it, or after we had collected all the other coins. Other melons are behind blocks, so we might have to, you know, destroy some other blocks and try and figure out where those other ones might be. We know we collected three huts, or sorry, five melons in this hut, so we are now good. Um, some huts have two different ways, so this is not the way that we came in, but it, you know, it helps us get to the other parts of the stage. So, like I already mentioned, this stage has, like, a large centered hub, and then you can branch out to each of the six huts, and each of them have different challenges for us to explore. So, this one, like, this one has Miss Warp number three. Have we seen any of the other Miss Warps yet? I don't think so. Um, uh, well, hopefully we'll find them as we continue going through this game, or through this particular stage. But again, we have Shy Guides on pogo sticks that we need to be careful for. Um, you can just eat the Shy Guides even though if, even if they are on their pogo stick. And of course, we have a number of coins that we see in this hut, so we want to try and get those as well. And we also might have to uncover a couple uh, hidden melons behind some blocks. So, of course, you know, after we find six of the same kind of fruit in a row, we 
become super happy again. We have unlimited egg use. Uh, we become invincible for a short time, so we can start just throwing as many eggs as we can possibly can around here just to see if there's anything else going around. There we go. There was that last coin, and that revealed the last uh, melon for this particular hut. We're already at 15 melons. This is pretty good. I admit, if you just go around the perimeter of the hub, uh, you can find them all pretty methodically. So there's actually a couple ways to get up to the very t uh, tippy top of uh, this particular hub. Um, one is the way that I'm going right now. Another way, if you go into to the top right, there are some surprise balls that Yoshi could lick on, but you would have to avoid a couple of particular enemies. So that actually might be useful practice for this particular hut. Well, we found this War 4. Well, that's nice. We still haven't found one. Well, we just found number one. But anyway, we have these spider type guys. I think these guys are called Gabon. I'm actually not sure. I think these are the guys called Gabon. But anyway, inside their hut, the music's a little different. There's a switch. Hey, all the melons just suddenly appeared. So what I would do is try and very carefully make it around the hut, not getting hurt by the guys. Try and, you know, grab, grab a super a happy heart if you can. And in fact, in this hut is our special letter for this particular stage. So there isn't a mini game like the other uh, levels, like most of the other levels have. But in this one, it just had our particular special letter of G inside of this hut. So I guess your, your main clue to give that away would be the fact that the music was a little different in that hut versus the other ones. But of course, we collected five in there, so we keep going onward. We're actually making really good time with this particular uh, stage. Oh my gosh, those are huge chain chomps! Um, it looks like it'll be easy for us to uh, climb up in this house, but how are we going to get down? Yoshi, have you even thought about how you're going to get down? You really should. Well, fortunately, again, just timing uh, timing your melon sequence so that you can either get, you know, six melons in a row or six of any fruit in a row, um, you become invincible for a short time. So that's going to make navigating this part of the stage a lot easier because you have to keep watching out for the path that the uh, chomps go left and right. So you're going to have to walk, slowly walk your way back down. You can't really jump down like you were able to jump up earlier. So you do have to be careful with that and listen to those sharp teeth. You definitely do not want to get uh, chomped on those by the chomp. That being said, um, we're almost done here. And in fact, uh, we just need to check out one more place. Uh, admittedly, I kind of skipped some of the enemies and other things that are going on in the hub. In the main hub, you should check them out if you want. But in terms of the melons, we already found all three super happy hearts. Those are pretty quick to find. Um, here we have shy guys on stilts, who are a little different than on the pogo sticks. If they're on the stilts, you you can't uh, lick them qu qu quite yet. You either have to knock them off their stilts by jumping on them, or if they are b or if their back is to you, then you can actually throw an egg at them, and then that will knock them off as well. Of course, well, no other thing to notice is there are coins in this hut, just like in some of the other ones that we've seen before, so we're going to have to make sure that we go around and try and collect every single coin, otherwise we might miss one, and if we miss one, then we might, we'll miss the melon associated with this hut. But, are we, I think we are just about done. So there's a... There's our last melon? No, there's our last melon! That being said, stage 4-1 is done! Nicely done, Yoshi. So that being said, instead of stage 4-1, here's our score for the level. Again, I'm not too particularly concerned about score, but that's just indicating how we did so far through this journey. Hmm, I'm getting pretty close to my top score, actually. Huh, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's read a page from the storybook. The Yoshi stumbled upon a hut. They weren't invited, but in they went. Gabon was the owner of the house, and he did not like the uninvited guests. Gabon threw things at the Yoshi, and they were sorry for ever barging in. Oh, so maybe the Gabon were the, uh, spiky guys. The page turned, and the Yoshis grew happier, despite breaking into somebody's house. <laughs> Silly Yoshis. They're babies. What can you do? Anyway, that concludes page four, so we are now heading off to page five, so feel free to choose your, uh, next stage at this time. Until then, this is Big Max saying, later. <laughs>